Hey romance readers, Linda here coming back at you with another video. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Tuesday. Happy Tuesday! Coming to you with another video today. Uh, I'm just going to go over some. I did finish one book, yeah. And I tried to read the other one. It didn't, it didn't go so well. So uh, I did finish Breath of Fire, the Kingmaker Chronicles book. Excellent. Uh, book two was, it was good. Because, you know, sometimes you read, like, when they have a series, you read the first book and it'd be like, eh. the it, the first book be fantastic, then the second book be like, eh, well, hey, this one, this was excellent. I give it four and a half stars. And uh, I mentioned before, it's about, it's a fantasy or a paranormal, if you want to call it a paranormal. And it's dealing with mythology. It got the gods, it got Zeus, it got Poseidon. And um, the female, her name is Catalea Fissa. Um, she is also part of a god. She's part god. I don't know how she's part god. It don't tell like how she became. Because she's just like, now finding out also. Well, she knew she had powers, but she also find out that she is um, part god also. Um, because she has a lot of powers. She, have, she can uh, turn invisible. And she can steal other people's power. Yeah, it's fan freaking tastic. And um, the uh, the whole scenario of what they're trying to do in this is that she, the guy she meets, he has a dream. I can't. I think in the first book he has a dream of that he's supposed to meet this female, and I, he kind of gets the idea that it's her because he go looking for her at a. Uh, uh, she used to be in some kind of like a circus. And um, that's where he met her at, or he kidnapped her, kind of. And uh, because he had a dream that they are supposed to be together because he's trying to take over all the kingdoms uh, to make a better life for everybody. Because now with the people running, like they got different gods running different kingdoms, where they're part gods uh, running different kingdoms because they have magic and stuff. But he, he don't have magic. You know, the people who don't have magic, you know, they they not ruling anything. But I guess um, he was blessed to be not, uh, if somebody tried to cast a spell on him or uh, do something to him, he's immune. So um, that's why she couldn't do anything to him. And uh, she finds out that he's immune to um, all, all magic. And so that's how he's able to. Uh, so him and his family has conquered a kingdom and took over a kingdom. So now he's a king. And at uh, first he was letting his sister rule as a queen. And he was like, they called himself like Beta Alpha. So he was like a beta under his sister. But then he meets um, Catalea. And she is supposed to, a uh, prophet told her her prophecy. And she thought she was supposed to like uh, destroy the world. But she wasn't reading the prophecy right. So, it, yeah, it's a lot going on. And then this, if you like uh, Gladiator, um, it also, in this one, is that you, you get to meet more gods in the, the gods in this one. And uh, it also has like a, a scene in the, most of it is going to be set in the arena because they have to go, I'm not going to go into all that, but it's kind of like the Gladiator. It was pretty exciting. Yeah, it was fan freaking tastic. And I really, really enjoyed it. So if you haven't read the Kingmaker Chronicles, um, I highly, highly recommend it. If you like action adventure with your romance, this is uh, the perfect book for you. And it's a three book series. Um, uh, let me see. I think I mentioned it before. If they have it in here. I don't think they even have it in here. Um, the first book is The Promise of Fire. The second book, like I said, this is The Breath of Fire. And now I got to read. I also have the third book. And I'll show that to you in a few minutes. But I highly, highly recommend this book. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, next I have. So. I bragged on this cover. I was hoping this book was going to be good. I started reading it. I made it to a chapter. I didn't keep my bookmark in here. I made it to chapter. Let me see here. Chapter 2. And. I couldn't get into the people. I tried. I tried because you know how you start. Re what threw me off? I think I mentioned them here before. I don't like for the female and male character to know each other before I start reading the book. And he, him and her did know each other because she's older than him. I and he's friend with her brother. And how? 
she's 22 and he's 18 and they she don't know he like she don't she doesn't know that he likes her so him he uh what is his name Decla. let's see what his his name is trent and her name is all right what is her name dana well trent is friend with dana's brother and uh dana and uh i don't know what her brother name is uh, their father just passed so it opens up with them walking in the forest or something and they're talking and then that's when you find out that um dana's father has passed and you also uh find out through well you find all this out through trent because he's uh thinking about this stuff and he's thinking about he how he has a crush on her and he really likes her and trent and her brother they're getting ready to go off to the military and he think that he should tell her that he likes her before he uh, leaves. So he does, does he does do that. He tells her, and he kind of found out that she liked him too. But once once I found out that they already knew each other, I, it was all going down here from there because I was like, oh no! If we, you know, how something hit you, and I was like, oh no, they already know each other. So I tried to struggle on through. I made it to chapter two, and it was like, nope, I can't do it. <laughs> So I probably I won't be finished. I will probably won't be finishing this. I'm not gonna go back on because I got a lot of books I need to get get through. And I like I said I've had this TBR ever since last year. So if I don't like the book, I'm not gonna say I don't like it. I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend that if you want to read it, go ahead and read it because I didn't even I didn't give it a chance. I I just read a couple of uh, chapters and I already was like no. Because they already knew each other. Yeah, I was like, oh, I can't do it. But I'm not even going to uh, grade this. Because I don't know. Because I didn't make it through. So if you want to read it, go ahead and check it out. And let me know what you thought about it. Did you like it? Should I go back and read it? If you read it, did you really enjoy it? Let me know. And then uh, I might go back and check it out. But as far as for, as for now, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> so let me put that to the side. And... Um, so once I decided not to read that, um, like I say, I need to read this. This is book two in the Kingmaker Chronicles. I moved on to this one. So I'm going to start this pretty soon. And I did start, uh, well, I, after I said I wasn't going to read Soul, I started reading this one. I picked another book off my t bear. I got this one, The Charmer by Avery Flynn. And so far, so good. I'm enjoying it. It's, uh, it's good. I like the writing style. Uh, and I'm on chapter three. I'm on chapter three right now, and I'm really, really enjoying it. And then I'm going to read this. I like to, uh, like in a series, I don't like to read the, I think I mentioned I don't like to read books back to back. I take a little break. So I, I put this in there. I'm reading this. So hopefully I'm going to finish this up by this weekend. I hope so. And then I start on this. And hopefully I can get that done. And uh, this is, uh, this one is about Hudson Carlisle. He's rich, of course. And uh, Felicia Hardigan, she's uh, a professor and she's like an ant, ant researcher. She uh, re researching ants. And um, he meets her at a party and she, he, um, he and he's an artist also, but his family don't know he's an artist. Uh, he just like to play like he's a playboy or whatever, but he, his uh, pictures are, are selling. He uh, go under an assumed name uh, selling his art and... Uh, from what he's uh, thinking and saying to himself, I think they're pretty popular, and but no one knows. His family doesn't even know. And uh, he meets her at a party that his mother is throwing, I think. Uh, it's for a uh, charity, I think. And that's where he meets um, Felicia. And he noticed that he's been watching her. As he said something about her that drew his attention. And I think he want to uh, paint her a uh, portrait. And uh, he go over to meet her and that's when he finds see her looking at somebody else and he know that she's got a crush on somebody else. So it's now where I'm at is him all about trying to uh, say he can help her because, um, you know, she uh, how she dressed or whatever. He can help her out, but she's not paying him any attention. She ain't giving him, a, giving him a chance. So that's where I'm at now with him trying to uh, get to know her. And she's like, she's not having it. And that is the Charmer by Avery Flynn. And next I have... Um, 
I like these books so much. Uh, even though I haven't finished the whole series, I like book one and book two that um, I follow her on uh, Facebook, uh, Amanda Bouchette. And she mentioned on there that her books, um, she just released book over in England. And uh, I saw the uh, covers of those books that she's released over in the UK. And I was like, I got to have it because I love these books. I love book one and book two that much. I went ahead and bought the series again in the UK version. I know. <laughs> I saw the covers. Here they are. A Promise of Fire. Look at that cover. I like how I got the little shade around here. It looked like a snowflakes, but I don't know what it is. And I like how they got this. All the, I like how they got the cover. How they did this little ring around here. And then they got the little, um, I don't know if that's blue or um, what color that is. But I know I loved it when I saw it. I was like, I got to have it. Even though I'll never read these, these just going to be like a, a, col a collection for me. Um, the UK version. And here's the second book, uh, um, Breath of Fire. Look at that. Isn't that cover beautiful? I like, like I said, I like how they did the edges. Make it all look old. I, you know, I love historical stuff. How it's looking kind of old looking. Yeah. And this is the third book, Heart of Fire. Uh, by, this is the third book. Look at that, how they did that, the edges. Yeah, I love it. I had to get it. Don't judge me, I know, but I had to have it. So I got the UK version of the King Maker Chronicles. That's how much I love the first two books. I was like, I got to get this whole series. So yeah, I want to show you that. Now I purchased that myself. I want to show you what, um, I got a little haul over here. I know y'all always say I'm doing a haul, but um, this haul is for my birthday. My birth, I'm an August baby. I'm a Leo, August 1st. So I want to show you my little haul that my sister got me for my birthday here. Now, I don't want anybody to judge me on that. I'm going to show this to you right here because I'm a big baby at heart. I'm still a kid, people. <laughs> All on the inside. And I know I mentioned on here that I love Star Wars. So anything dealing with Star Wars, I love it. Like the Clone Wars, the animated version of the Clone Wars, I love it. The animated version of the uh, Star Wars Rebel uh, the, that came on uh, Nickelodeon. Yeah, my sister got Look what she got me. Star Wars Rebel, the complete season one. I looked at that whole, I looked at the whole uh, episode till it, it went off the air. Love it. So she got me this. Um, Complete season one, Star Wars Rebel. Yeah. <laughs> she also got me, uh, I don't bent the, I'm bending the book up. The Naked Truth by Vi Keela. If you've been with me for a while, you know I love her writing and I love her. Uh, and the, my sister know that I like her, uh, Vi Keela writing. And so I, she got this for me. Well, I told her to get it for me. So, yeah. There you go, The Naked Truth. And this, I'll reach a little bit of back of this. I think this is her, I think this just came out. So I had put it on my list on Amazon and uh, my sister got it for me. And I'll reach a little bit of this. It was just a typical Monday until the big boss asked me to make the pitch for a prospective new client. Oh, before I go on, yeah, this is, the uh, female and the male character knew each other. Yeah. I was like, why, Vi Keelan? Why? You got to have them already knowing each other. But I like her writing so much. I'm going to take a chance. And I said, I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. And hopefully, it'll catch my attention from the jump. Uh, let, let's start all back over. It's just a typical Monday until Big Boss until the big boss asked me to make the pitch for a prospective new client. After two years on shaky ground at work because of my screw up, an opportunity, an opportunity to impress the senior partners was just what I needed, or so I thought, until I walked into the conference room and collided with the man I was supposed to pitch. My coffee spilled, my files, my files tumbled to the ground, and I almost lost my balance, and that was the good part of my day. Because the gorgeous man crouched down and looking at me like he wanted to eat me alive was none other than my ex, Gray Westbrook. Yeah, that got me right there. I was like, no! <laughs> but I like Keelan so much, I was like, I'm going for it. It's the naked truth, so I hope I enjoy it. Next, she got me uh, Claire Contreras. I think I mentioned her on my, cha on my channel before. I she wrote another... Um, 
it was dealing with soccer and I really really enjoyed the book so um, I read the uh, back of this one and I had this on my list uh, on Amazon and my sister got this for me for my birthday Because You're Mine by Claire Contreras I love her writing too I can't think of the other book they never put the um, other books that they re written in, in these books anymore well not in these anyway I was like why you don't put your other books up in here so people can know Especially if, if you like, if you really, really like the, um, the, oh, here, is this it? Let me see. Oh, here it is. She, here it is. I'm finna go on a tangent, but here she got a couple of books back here. Uh, also by Claire Contreras. I read the, the player. Sports Romance. It was excellent. So if you haven't checked it out and you like sports romances, check out the player. And, and if you have read it, let me throw it, know what you thought about it. I really, really enjoyed it. I read a little bit of the back of this uh, synopsis. When you grow up in the most feared mafia family, it's easy to identify the kind of men that are bad news. They are the ones with experience, the ones with secrets, the ones that exclude sex just by saying your name. From the minute I laid eyes on Lorenzo, I knew he wasn't just bad news. He was the headline. My opinion didn't change on our second meeting or our third. But my head and my heart are at war. He's so mysterious, too gorgeous, too wild, and now he wants me. I should run far away, so why am I racing toward him? And that's Because You're Mine by Claire Contreras. I like that cover too. And next I have here, I've been seeing this a lot on um, YouTube and they said um, people was uh, telling about the uh, a comic and I think it's like a little romance and they have a little uh, baby here and as you can see they're from different tribes so I'm like okay this is going to be about uh yeah we're going to have some problems here so I was like let me check this out it's by Brian Vaughn Brian K Vaughn and Fiona Staples and um I really don't know what it's going to be about but the uh the graphics are nice I like it so when I saw these two on here and it's like a, a mixed race thing going on yeah, because I know they're going to have some kind of problem going on because she got wings and he got horns. So I was like, yeah. I don't, um, and this is volume one. So I was like, let me check it out. If I like it, I might continue the series because, you know, these, do they call, is this manga? I don't know. Or is this just uh, animation? I have no idea. I don't know the difference between me, either one of them. <laughs> I know manga is like made in Asia, so I don't know. I think this might be just um, animation. Uh, they, they might call it something else. I don't know. I, I'm not into comics that much, but I saw this and it looked like it was going to be a love, uh, um, a romantic com comic. So I was like, let me check it out. So it's Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. And I have two more books over here. Now these I purchased myself. I got K. Pierce. Um... I mentioned on here, I'm a big fan of Kay Pierce. And she's been writing a lot of westerns. Uh, this is called The Billionaire Bull Rider by Kay Pierce. And I got this from, um, I think I got this from either Kroger's or Publix. Um, so I was like, let me check this out. And I'll read a little bit of this. Sorry about that. My camera went, my camera went out. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm talking too long. But let me, I just have one more book to show you after this one. And then I'll be finished. Uh, Turning his back on his American father's business, Empire, Empire was the smartest decision Rio Martinez ever made. Now, after a high-flying career on the rodeo circuit, the world champion bull rider is ready for a change of pace. A summer hiatus working for, Mor for the Morgan Brothers, California Ranch turns into the hope of forever when Rio meets a beautiful French baker who makes him realize what's missing from his restless life. So when I found when uh, I heard about it, he was going to be a bull rider, I like reading about um uh, uh, men who are in the rodeo. I like those kind of uh, books. So I was like, yeah. And she's also French and she um, she's a cook. She's a baker. I was like, yeah, sound interesting. So I had to get it. And that's the French Billionaire book. I'm the French Billionaire. Yeah, I'm doing too much. The Billionaire Bull Rider. There you go. And last but not least, I don't know if I showed this on here. Um, I can't remember, but this is Lord Savage, Mia Gabriel. I found this in the dollar store. Yeah, sometimes you can find some pretty good books in it. If, 
after you have to dig through all the books, because uh, you know people that came in there and books are everywhere, so you have to dig through there to find anything. And I found this right here, Lord Savage by Mia Gabriel, and I read a little bit of this. Once trapped in a loveless place, mm, let's start all over. Once trapped in a loveless pleasureless marriage, Evelyn Hart leaves her home in New York for the glittering ballroom of London. When she arrives, she meets the Earl of Savage, a dark, powerful man who seems to live up to his name. Despite his noble trapping, he's also a man who can possess her with just one look. Soon, Evelyn finds herself pulled into Savage World, a world of passion and seductive games unlike any she has ever experienced. Evelyn Hart is captured with no hope of escape, but can they overcome the tortures of the past together? So this seems like it's going to be kind of like, uh, yes, some hot, steamy, uh, so and so, so and so going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got this and it wasn't but a dollar. So hey, I couldn't leave it in there. So I picked it up So that's all I have for now um, Hope everyone continue to have a fantastic day and I'll be seeing you again again pretty soon So keep reading those romances and I'll see you later. Bye